Hi, I'm James. And I'm Laurent. And today is a very special day for us because we are getting a new puppy. We're getting a puppy. Gonna be very popular. She is so <laughs> damn cute. She's really cute. So James has been emailing and texting with a breeder for the past six weeks or eight weeks. Uh, so at least we know what she looks like. We've been looking at pictures. We've been looking at videos. James has been looking at pictures <laughs> a lot. A lot. A lot. <laughs> So back in January, we lost our dog Maya. We had had her for almost 19 years. And 19 years in dog years is a lot of years. A she was years. very, very old. Very old and very sick. We did our best to take care of her, make her comfortable. But she passed away in January and we were heartbroken and didn't have a puppy or a dog for a long time. And Sometime over the summer, I guess we were walking down Clark Street in Andersonville. In Chicago. In Chicago. And we ran across these two guys that were walking this dog that looked like a Pomsky. And we both really liked Pomskys and we thought that's that's the right dog for us. So we asked them about the dog and where they got it and they gave me the name of the breeder. And it turns out that they're downstate Illinois. So what exactly is a Pomsky? A Pomsky is half Pomeranian and half Husky. And usually the uh, males are the Pomeranian. Always the males Always are the, the males. Pomeranian. <laughs> so for those who don't know, a Pomeranian is a little dog that's probably 10 pounds and a Husky is a Husky. Yeah. So how a Pomeranian and a Husky can have puppies it's a miracle of science. It's a miracle of science. And Maya was a Eskimo and a Pomeranian mix, so she was a Pomsico, but they're pretty similar, so they aren't that different in terms of size. But our dog is going to be a second generation Pomsky, so both her mom and her dad are Pomskis. Mm -hmm. So maybe she was conceived naturally, we don't know, maybe we can ask the breeder. <laughs> So to go get the puppy, we are driving in the heartland of America. We're going to downstate Illinois or midstate Illinois, and it is all flat and there is nothing but cornfields. Nothing. But at least we're lucky it's not raining too much because it's supposed to be raining all day today. I reached out to the breeder and I said, do you have any puppies on the way? And she said, well, it just so happens we have a litter coming up and it'll be available sometime in September to go home. So we thought, oh, this is serendipitous here. And so we followed them on the website and on July 24th, they had uh, their litter. And there were seven of them, four boys and three girls. And they were named after the Big Bang Theory. Dog parents, puppy parents. First time away from Mama and her siblings. Yep. So James got Maya as a puppy 
uh, and she was already a year old when we first met so technically it's his dog and by the time I showed up she was a year old and there were lots of mistakes that were made as, as a puppy and I just couldn't undo them because she was already a year old so with this dog all those mistakes we're not gonna repeat she's gonna be the best trained dog you've ever seen she's gonna have all the puppy etiquette down and Laurent has never survived puppyhood so he wasn't around when nope. I had Maya as a brand new little pup and uh, this is gonna be an experience let's put it that way so we've been watching tons of videos. There's a YouTuber called Zach George. He's great. That we've been watching religiously. I don't know that uh, Zach George has the same parental philosophy that, uh, that I do. He's all about positive reinforcement. You can say no, you can yell to your dog. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not about positive reinforcement. <laughs> that dog is gonna be well behaved. Well, there'll be a good cup and a bad cup. Yes, I'll be the bad cup, no doubt about that. And to be honest, that works in every situation for us, so. It worked pretty well with Maya as well. Yeah. She knew who the alpha dog was. <laughs> it wasn't her. So I'm most looking forward to two things. Puppy naps. Taking a nap with a pap is the best thing in the whole wide world. And the second thing I'm looking forward to is puppy playtime. Taking her to the beach and playing in the sand and running around. You are never going to allow her to play in the sand. Yes, I will. Okay. When Maya was a puppy, I let her play in the sand. Yeah, and then complain that she was sandy. <laughs> in the rain. Hi PD. <laughs> She's pretty strong. Go pee pee, baby. Yeah, go pee pee. Do you know what that means, yeah? No? Yeah? She really likes the camera. Mm -hmm. PD. So today marks the end of the first day of life with our new puppy. So we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and put your comment in the comment section below. We don't do personal videos very often, but we thought this was such a big event in our life that we wanted to share it with you guys. Let us know in the comment section if you want us to do more of those videos. And if you want to subscribe to our channel, we are going to put a link right here.
If you want to get notifications, be sure to click the bell. And if you want to watch our other videos, we're going to put one right here and another one right there. Bye. Bye. Beatty says bye. 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 Good girl. Oh, it's a good girl. Yes, it's a good girl.